Baby, 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 I'm a gonna leave. Hey, 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 got the zip in the step. We're coming in this morning. It's GMO Tuesday. Got to ramble on. Hey, hey, hey. Got some crazy stuff this week, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But, but before we get there, got to talk about something. Uh, uh, this week I have been in conversation with uh, uh, Magda Arroyo. Drop dead gorgeous. She's with Brown and Brown Insurance Company. Pay attention. Pay attention, property preservation people, because I'll have more information in Business 101 on Preservation Thursday from Brown and Brown Insurance Company. Um, and, and we'll get to, we'll talk about the property preservation questions at the end of today's uh, uh, podcast, ladies and gentlemen. What I want to talk about right now. MJ BizCon, MJ BizCon, November 14th through the 17th in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. You'll find Magda Arroyo running around all that place doing a little bit of networking. But her company actually insures medical marijuana operations. And they are one of the only insurance companies that I have found, or the only one that I have spoken with at this time, that provides crop loss, crop damage coverage. So it might be something you want to check out. Uh, uh, Brown and Brown Insurance. The uh, this deal uh, 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 about uh, uh, BizCon. In, in Las Vegas, uh, of course, they're going to have workshops. They'll have mixers going on down there. Uh, uh, it's, uh, um, like I said, this, this is a new industry. You have 21 states, I think, that have some form of medical marijuana. I, I believe 21 states, have, or is it 26? I, I'm not sure now. I, I didn't write that number down. But uh, uh, Brown & Brown Insurance are located down in Santa Barbara, and it's a cannabis workshop going on next week in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Get your little gambling on in a cocktail and, and, and go talk to some people about some marijuana business down there. Uh, uh, GMO Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, of course, GMO Tuesday, Foothill Feet and Mercantile, they provide, they provide that non-GMO food and that organic food, certified organic for your critters. Uh, uh, if, if you're going to be raising uh, uh, animals for feed, uh, uh, one more thing I need to touch on. Their insurance covers indoor crops. They can, depending on circumstances, will consider outdoor crops. And there's a big deal in the industry right now. And my concern is the GMO folk get in it and do what they're doing in the agriculture industry. But there's a big deal about can we go organic? Can we go sustainable agriculture setups? Or is it a strictly an indoor? Is this going to be an indoor marketing thing uh, with the medical marijuana? Uh, uh, and the big issue is you have people out here, even though they want to, you know, smoke a little reefer, they still don't want to do the chemical. I don't know if any of you remember Tricky Dicky back in the 70s gave us Paraquat pot. Remember that? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people out there, and in my conversations with everybody, they really do want organic, organic principles and organically grown marijuana versus indoor growing, artificial light, artificial food, etc., etc. It's a lot of chemical stuff. Uh, and then, of course, you have the hydroponic situation. And, and, and I disagree. Uh, my understanding is they're getting ready to do something in the hydroponic field as far as certifying it as organic. And, and I disagree with that because it's not organic. You're not creating a compost. You're not creating the soil nutrients. You're force feeding your plant. 
in hydroponics, and that has always been the the, the pro and con there. But uh, uh, outdoor crops, questionable indoor crops, uh, uh, they will insure it. So Brown and Brown Insurance, uh, uh, if you need information, leave a comment down below. We'll uh, I'll, I'll touch base with you and put you in touch with Magda Arroyo. Again, in conversation, she's a non-GMO girl. Drop. We have, of course, Monsanto is at it again. First off, they want to, they're, 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 they're saying that Terry Fuller, the Arkansas plant board guy, a gal, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a man or a woman. I haven't seen a photograph. It just says Terry Fuller. Uh, uh, but they're challenging this scientist as being biased. A and you see... Um, it goes back we, we, the argument once again. Uh, uh, glyphosate is as safe as salt and caffeine. Let's think about that for just a minute. How many of you have a cup of coffee in the morning? I have a couple pots a day. How many of you use salt? You got salt on the shaker on the table right now? I bet you do. I bet you do. It's on the counter, isn't it? You're putting it on your eggs. You're putting it on the taters. It's safe. Can we put glyphosate on the taters? Can we put glyphosate in our coffee? Yeah, yeah. Cammy Ryan is examining that in an article links are in the description ladies and gentlemen a lot of links again this week a lot a lot a lot of links but you have to remember a couple things when it comes to glyphosate and dicamba for that matter right now because dicamba of course tennessee this week the fourth state now to ban dicamba not waiting for the epa fda usda who have been tainted and purchased by the monsanto no propaganda machine. They have been brought into the fold so they can lie to you and sell Monsanto's chemical. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Tennessee, the fourth state. They join Alabama, Arkansas, and Missouri. Missouri. Yes, indeed, the home of Monsanto. The home of Monsanto. But of course, people ask, you know, well, well how did this happen? How did, you want to know how it happened? Uh, and another, this is another non-GMO gal dropped in. I don't know what it is. I, 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 I think there's, I think there's a pattern developing here. Non-GMO, drop dead gorgeous. GMO girl, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> stop! Stop! Elizabeth Warren, stop! Debbie stabbing now! Stop! Ah! Think about it, folks. Think about it. Debbie, let me stab my constituents in the back. Stabbing now! Piece of garbage. That woman is a piece of garbage. But people have been asking me. I get, I, I get these emails. If... How is a science like this like this if it's not really true? If you want to know the answer to that, again, another drop-dead gorgeous non-GMO gal, Carrie Gillum, whitewash. The corruption of science, it, it, it is systematically, and again, again, I'm telling you right now, I know, I know if we can get and I've talked to a couple attorneys that might be able to help on this. I don't know. If you can help me on this, I am betting money, Mr. Gambrell, Center for Food Safety. You're an attorney. You can find this information. I know you can. You guys are attorneys. You're a law firm. You have access to archives. 1917 to 1928, Monsanto begged. John Queenie begged the government, sue me, sue me under the Food Safety Act because saccharin is a poison. Sue me, sue me, sue me, sue me, sue me. So the United States government does for 
11 years. They go back and forth. They go back and forth. They go back and forth. And what happens? The USA throws the towel in. Why? In my humble opinion. Number one, Monsanto was not guilty of anything making a product and selling it. Number two, the person, the company, the entity that should have been sued because of saccharin in the food supply was not Monsanto because they made it and sold it to a customer. It was the customer that used it and placed it untested in the food supply. And that customer was Coca-Cola, 1901. I want you to think about that for a minute. Let that sink in. In 1901, Saccharin goes in the food supply. 16 years later, John Queenie asked the government to sue him. And what do you think happened in those 11 years? The blueprint to the propaganda game is in those court transcripts. And that's how we undo this company, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sorry, but Mr. Gambrell, I, I've been asking for a while. I, I've sent you guys emails. I've sent everybody emails ask, out there asking them to join the campaign on the Twitter. Let's do it. I, I, I mean, you see things can happen on that Twitter. In my humble opinion, if you have a cause, I don't care what your cause is, and you want to bring it to the attention of the President of the United States, if you do not use Twitter, his platform to communicate to you, you're stupid. I'm sorry. You're stupid. I get so much resistance from these. Oh, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? What is that going to do? It's going to trip an algorithm, and it's going to make Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, pay attention. It will grab his attention. And trust me when I say... If something grabs his attention, he's going to sit down and talk to somebody to straighten it out. If he perceives a problem that the American citizens are suffering from, Mr. Donald J. Trump, trust me, he will sit down and try to fix that and remedy that. He's an American, and he loves this country. I don't care what you say. You may not lie. I, I don't agree with the guy all the time. I don't agree with all his policies. I really don't. However, I do have a lot of respect for him. Number one, he's the president of the United States. Whether you like it or not, he is. Number two, regardless of what you think about Mr. Trump, first and foremost, he is an American. Mr. Trump is an American, and he loves this country. So I I'll put my faith in him to help us out. And I, I really think if a coordinated effort on Twitter is made, we can get his attention. Trust me. We can get his attention. So, remember this about glyphosate and dicamba and everything that we have so far is all pseudoscience. It's made up science. Uh, uh, the National Academy of Sciences, a Monsanto-sponsored program. They created all these science boards and agencies to write favorable, <coughs> to write favorable papers and review them amongst themselves in their little quiet room somewhere to lie to you to sell a chemical. To lie to you to sell a chemical. To make you believe they're helping you. They're feeding the hungry people. They're going to use less poisons. Uh, 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 of course, of course, we have all this, right? We have, here, let's take this. Let's put it in here. I'm going to give you this. And oh, yeah. Yeah. When you're growing this, we're not going to use my number one selling chemical as much. How could you be elected to Congress and buy into that? Where is your common sense? Did you leave it in the sixth grade? I can't believe how disgusting this whole mess is. When you start looking and following the money, $15,000, Debbie Stabino gives us a QR code. Instead of labeling, the QR code sends you to a propaganda website. It doesn't tell you what's in the package. That's Debbie. Let me stab my constituents in the back. Stabbing now up there in Michigan, Battle Creek, poisoning everybody with the cereal. Poisoning everybody with the cereal. You know, this is, I, I got a question. I got a question. 
Thomas Baldwin, help me out here. Wouldn't it be easier, since there is so much confusion, so much argument, so much everything, wouldn't it just be easier if we actually tested this stuff? Wouldn't that be the easiest way to go? FDA, USDA, EPA, wouldn't that be the easiest thing to do? Just test it. Let's run some legitimate tests. Let's do this right. No, no, no. That might cost a little bit too much money. A little bit too much money. You know what's not going to cost you money, ladies and gentlemen? A trip over to Organic for Green Living's MDG Blogger. MDG Blogger, man. She got the black hole over there on that website talking about quitting smoking. You need some help quit smoking? She got some good stuff over there. Go check it out. Ditch the soda. Ditch the soda. Paula Mayer. Paula's Healthy Living, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. Ditch the soda. She got some weight loss ideas over there. And just because, just because, just because you want to start your day off with a ray of sunshine, go to the website. Look at those two girls smile. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I am telling you. You know, this week, this week, another article talking about fertility and the pesticide use and this is uh, uh they, they they actually were testing produce again links are in the description on all these subject matters that i'm talking about uh, uh, articles from around the globe uh, uh they are they're actually able now you got to remember glyphosate has been around since the late 70s it's actually been around since the mid 60s but Monsanto pushed it out into the market into the 70s. And they controlled every testing aspect of this when until the patents ran out 20 some years later. So they've actually they controlled testing. They controlled everything there was about glyphosate until that patent ran out uh, and the second patent ran out. So everything that comes from that part of, of the conversation has been tainted. It's been tainted. We're not, we're going to use less of this because I'm making something to use less of that. But, oh, by the way, that's my number one selling product. I do not know how any lame politician bought into that and sold that down the river. That comment right there should have been the biggest red flag in the whole glyphosate debacle. But now they're linking it to fertility. So if you want to reproduce, if you want to go have some offspring there, ladies and gentlemen, go organic. Go organic. Be healthy. Give your baby a fighting chance at life. Give him a fair chance at life. Why it's in the womb, take care of it. My mother did. Uh, I, I didn't turn out too bad. I'm a little crazy, but I didn't turn out too bad. And uh, I do thank my mother every day. I thank my mother that I have all, all of my fingers and I'm not, I don't have a third eye in my forehead or some kind of weird defect that was caused from chemicals, from doing drugs when you're pregnant, from doing all that kind of stuff. My mother was very careful. She even quit drinking coffee. And my mother was a big guy. Why do you think I'm a coffee drinker? Mom was a coffee drinker. But, uh, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, my mother was very cognizant, and, and, and to this day, I appreciate it. I thank her every day for it. And, and I know other people that thank their mother and their father every day for bringing them up, feeding them good, teaching them how to eat right. That's what being a parent's about. Teach your children, man. Teach your children. We have another questionable alliance in the academia world. Are you kidding me? Oxford University, the University of Oxford, cut it out. No. No, not Oxford. I'm wondering if Oxford will put Dumocrat in the uh, uh, Dumocrat. Can we get Dumocrat put in the Oxford Dictionary, Oxford? While you're favoring Monsanto in your writings right now, uh, uh, uh. of course. This past week, Oxford joins. Questionable Academia, uh, Stanford, Cornell, Florida, uh, uh, Miss, M Missouri State, uh, uh, Missouri, Mislu, as they call them. Uh, uh, uh. They paid, Monsanto paid 50 pounds, 50,000 pounds, which is like 75,000 
U.S. dollars, million, I'm sorry, million. They gave $50 million to Oxford. Oxford professor Richard Droll was paid $1,500 a day to testify in court in favor of Monsanto's chemicals. Testify that Monsanto's chemicals do not cause cancer. He was paid $1,500 a day. In addition, Oxford was given a 50 million pound note endowment or whatever they call it for this professor, Richard Droll, to attack regenerative agriculture, organic farming. He's going to attack it. Somebody asked a question the other day. If they ban glyphosate everywhere, 28 countries just did, but if they ban glyphosate everywhere, can farming work? What kind of stupid moronic question is that? It worked for a million years before chemicals got put in the food supply. Yes, it'll work. What the hell's wrong with you? I could not believe it when I saw that. I mean, I... Wanted to beat that with a stick. Come on, get real here. Here's my question, though, when it comes to this issue with Monsanto buying everything. The cat's out of the bag on this. We know they bought these people. We know they bought Steve Savage. We know they bought Kevin Apathy. We know that they have bought science departments at Cornell, at Stanford, uh, uh, now Richard Droll at Oxford. We know this. This is their science. This is not science. So the mess we have now is how to undo the mess they've created in the last 20 years in the agriculture industry by buying and creating all these scientific agencies. Monsanto created a scientist that didn't exist. And the guy got a Nobel Peace Prize for Christ's sake. He didn't exist. The scientists didn't exist. It was a figment that Monsanto created. Whitewash. Kerry Gillum. Look it up. I'm telling you. You got to go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You got to go check it out. And while you're checking that out, check out Epic Gardening. The guy's got some great tools, great fall gardening stuff, of course. LakeTahoeMarkets.com, ladies and gentlemen. LakeTahoeMarkets.com. You can order today delivered on Friday, organic produce year-round. In the summertime, you go to the farmer's market. In the wintertime, pay a little extra, you get it delivered. It's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. LakeTallMarkets.com and, of course, EpicGardening.com. Uh, 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 Kevin over there has some great stuff. I don't know where he's traveling this week, but he's got some really, really good stuff on that website. You guys have heard me say, for I don't know how long, what goes in the dirt, goes on your table. Now, of course, that we have 40 years of glyphosate being sprayed on everything, not only does it come back up in the air, uh, uh, it mystifies, I can't think it begins with an A, but I can't think of the, the, the correct word there, but it uh, uh, vaporizes, it, va it vaporizes, uh, uh, but when the when, uh, glyphosate is laid in the ground and you go kick the dirt and it's dust and that dust comes up in the air the glyphosate is still there and it's coming up in the air and people are breathing it still yeah new report out on the impact that chemical intensive farming in the industrial agriculture industry is hazardous to the food system and human health for many, 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 many years, one of the talking points from the Monsanto propaganda machine, ladies and gentlemen, has been causation is not, or correlation is not causation. Well, that's true. Correlation is not the causation of the glyphosate health issues. The glyphosate is responsible for the causation. However, If you're healthy, you're fine, 
let's say you don't have a third eye growing out of your forehead and oh for a year and a half you use a chemical and you start growing a, 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 a eyeball in your forehead are you going to tell me and then you stop using that chemical and the eyeball goes away you gonna tell me that chemical didn't cause the eyeball that's how stupid this has become ladies and gentlemen common sense this is what i've been saying for a long time use a little common sense when they bring these talking points up correlation is not causation poppy cock poppy cock you look at the spike in autism in relationship to when gmo crops were put in our food supply think about that i'm telling you think about it think about it this did this uh, report discusses the impact the unacceptable harm that agriculture and the products are doing and this is very important ladies and gentlemen this is really really important they keep saying, oh, well, we've tested glyphosate, we've tested glyphosate, we've tested glyphosate, but the EPA acknowledges there has never been a final solution test. What is a final solution? Roundup isn't the only thing in the bottle. Glyphosate isn't the only thing in the bottle of Roundup. That whole combination has not been tested, just the glyphosate. So maybe the glyphosate by itself inherently won't do this but when you stick that with it it does now i don't have a, a label to tell you what all is in a, a bottle of roundup but there are other chemicals in there that react never been a test never been any testing on the final solution and that was per the epa so how does that get in with no testing on that final solution how does that get approved to be in play whom do your elected officials represent ladies and gentlemen it's time to vote it's coming up it's time to vote find out <coughs> you don't like what these politicians are saying about this issue don't vote vote them out debbie stabbing out coming up for re-election vote her out she sold you down the river she doesn't care about you guys she wants her coffers filled she 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 wants money I've never understood how you go to Washington, D.C. with a $75,000 a year job, come, come home, and your net worth is $100 million 10 years later. I don't get that. I think that's called graft. I, I want you to think about something for a minute. Graft is using a political position for financial gain. Would Monsanto have lunch with Debbie Stabenow if she wasn't a senator? If she was just an average housewife sitting up there in Detroit, Michigan, Putting the rice crispies and milk on the table for the kids. Is Monsanto going to come knock on the door and say, Hey, Debbie, we want you to help us. Hell no, they're not. They're not going to give her $15,000 being a housewife serving rice krispies to the child. No. But hey. But hey. We're in the Senate now. We're in the Senate now. You can help me. Come here, Debbie. Come here. Come here. Let me fill your coffers. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the talking points they have. Correlation is not causation. But yet, how can they say that when they've never tested? How can, how can they say anything they have said if it's never been tested? And I want you to think about something, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to think about something very, 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 very carefully David Suzuki, Dr. David Suzuki, a genealogist, one of the finest top guys when it comes to genes and all that kind of stuff in your in your body. He's like the, one of the top guys on the planet. He might even be smarter than Neil deGrasse. I'm a paid spokesperson. Sell out. Any politician or scientist that tells you that this GMO, the way they're using this GMO technology is safe and the, and the products, the final products that they are being produced are safe. They're either really stupid or they're lying. It's that simple. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. They're either really stupid because they want to buy into it or they're lying. Or they are lying. 28 countries banned glyphosate this past week ladies and gentlemen 28 countries 
Say what you want about Putin. Say what you want about these uh, uh, third world countries that have dictators that 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 want to beat people up, don't let them have freedom of speech, like I can do right here and talk to you guys and relay information to you. Uh, uh, you can't vote for anybody. You don't have the right to remain silent. You, if you steal something, they chop your arm off. If you look at another man's wife, they might poke you in the eye and take your eye out because they have this sick Hammurabi, uh, code of Hammurabi thing going on. But let me let, 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 let me ask you something here. If this evil man, Vladimir Putin, won't feed GMO stuff to his subjects, what does that tell you about the stuff? Pecuniary greed, ladies and gentlemen. This is a pecuniary greed issue at its highest level. It has infiltrated the highest levels of our government and everything. Consumer power. I'm telling you, consumer power. I'm telling you right now, if everybody quit buying Fritos, if everybody quit buying any kind of corn chip for 60 days, they would change their tune. They would change their tune. You can live without... Trust me on this, ladies and gentlemen. You can live without a corn chip for 60 days. They can't live without you buying their corn chip. So if you don't buy their corn chip for 60 days, can you understand the domino that you would push back on them? They wouldn't be able to make payroll. Think about it. They wouldn't be able to make payroll. They're going to have to listen to you. Consumer power, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. Uh, Twitter campaign, Twitter campaign, uh, 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 23 people. I had five more Monsanto employees looking at my profiles this week. Badge of honor, badge of honor. I don't know why they're looking at my profile. I don't know why they're looking at my profile. Uh, 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 uh. find me on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen at Alliday LLC, at Alliday LLC on the Twitter and join my Twitter campaign. You come follow me, I'll follow you, and we'll ask Mr. President, we'll ask Mrs. President, we will ask Scott Pruitt at the EPA, we will ask the FDA, and we will ask Sonny Purdue over there at the USDA. Please, get the poison out of our food. Yesterday would not be soon enough, but join the Twitter campaign. Hey, be sure to tune in Preservation Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have some good stuff. I got, uh, uh, of course, as I mentioned earlier in the podcast here, uh, I'll be speaking with somebody, Brown and Brown, uh, uh, on insurance. One of the questions I asked in PNP, one of the questions I asked about the PPI was this. If 3,000 people list a company additionally insured, do they all attach when something happens? Tune in Thursday, find out. And of course, I'm betting it is property preservation. So we will have a fraud flavor of the week. You can bet on that. You can bet on that. Uh, uh, preliminary, preliminary discussions. <laughs> right now, it could be true assets. Could be true assets. And they merged with Northside. So that means it's a... Uh, North asset, true North asset. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A true, let me see, a true North site asset. I don't know. I don't know, but could be. You have to tune in and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you hear, give us a thumbs up. Uh, uh, subscribe to the station. If you can help out, hey, even if it's five bucks, it, it all helps. It all helps. And everybody who has donated... Thank you very large. I sincerely appreciate it. It keeps the lights on right now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be squared away in another uh, 60, 90 days uh, uh, getting everything moved because we've started that process and, and things will look up. Up to the minute. Fraud reporting in the property preservation, ladies and gentlemen. Fraud reporting. Foreclosurepedia.org. Foreclosurepedia.org. The guy's on the road this week. I think he's heading up for a meeting with Sentinel or something. I don't know. We'll find out here. But foreclosurepedia.org for all the fraud, up to the minute fraud reporting. If you like what you hear, thumbs up. Subscribe to the station. Donate if you can. It's going to be a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be a great day. Let's have a good time. Let's all be safe out there.